Is my head in it now? Yeah. Is her head in it? Perfect. So we're even. Alright. Tonight. Wait. No? We're not we're not live yet? Yeah, but you have a filter on it. A filter? What in the same? Not, not what in the name of What's the filter? <laughs> How do we have a filter like that? <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> what my face? <laughs> oh my gosh. This might make it even better. You just wanna go with it? Here we <laughs> gosh. What do we sound like? Oh, is that normal? You just wanna go with it? Here we go. Oh my gosh. I don't Oh, I, I think be, we're worried. Oh no, she's I got wanna, a Santa head. You got I, a Santa head. I wanna to see my daddy. There. Where'd he go? Huh? She's got a Santa head still. Okay, good deal. Good deal. Phew. All right, sorry about that. Meanwhile, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. That thing's gonna spin, it's gonna spin. Oh, our videographer is killing us. Are we good? Mm -hmm. If my phone starts vibrating, that's what's gonna spin it. Okay. Welcome. Tonight, six of twelve days of a Dob Father's Christmas. Tonight, what are we reading, Rox? Mistletoe. Mistletoe. Oh, I have no idea. I haven't touched it. There was, there was a little. I think there's hiding code in, in, in day two. Well, maybe we can read it tomorrow night. No, let's get. Flying. Will you go find that one for us too? We'll read that second. How about that? Yeah, that's okay. Too. This is Mooseltoe. <coughs> Cover your mouth, please. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't even cover my mouth. I know, but please do. Mooseltoe by Margie mm -hmm. Palatini. Illustrated by Henry Cole. Mooseltoe. <coughs> Nailed it. All right. Slide it in there, slide it in there real quick. Nailed it. Slide it, slide it, slide it. All right. Oh yeah, good job, good job. Watch fingers. This thing looks hard for me. Sorry. All right. So tonight we have a double feature. That's good. Anyways, twas the season, and Moose was merry. He joyfully tickled the ivories with a tuneful of tidings and a flurry of fa la las. He was so full of ho ho hoes, even his moustache had the holiday spirit. But Moose was more than just a bit merry and bright. He was busy, busy, busy. There was a lot to be done on his list of to-dos, but with orderly or organization and a bit of regimentation, lots of imagination and just plain old moose know-how, getting ready for the big day should have been simple, easy, yes, in all probability, just perfectly perfect. And this is one of those books I struggle reading the words to. I remember that from last year. I think last year we might have had an oops. I don't hope it doesn't happen again, because I forget where it was at. He wasted not one merry minute. Moose got moving and put some hustle into the holiday bustle. He went to work. He wrote cards and letters till his hooves hurt. Check. He shopped till he dropped. Check. So far so good. He hauled some boxes and bags and presents galore. Moose had gifts 
Everyone stacked from ceiling to floor. Check, check, check. Then he rapped, yo, yo, yo. And he ribboned, ho, ho, ho. And on each and every package, he tied a big, beautiful bow. Check and double check. So far, so simple, so easy, so perfectly perfect. Another look at the list and Moose headed for the kitchen. He pulled out the pots, pans, and bowls, sifted through stacks and racks of cookbooks. He whisked with his left, spooned with his right. Moose baked tons of tins of cookies. Check. Dozens of cakes, breads, and sweets. Check, check, check. He made jellies, sticky jams. Moose roasted a goose and some chestnuts. He toasted marshmallows and yams. Check, 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 triple check. Yes, yes, so simple, so easy, and but of course, so perfectly perfect. You gonna make it? You might fall asleep before this is even done, aren't you? You can go to sleep if you want to. Decorations were up next on his list of things to do and get done, so Moose decked the halls. That's where it was. That's where it was. Decked the halls. Then spruced up the walls. He beaded, bowed, and Mooseled toed. Oh, I guess that'd be bowed. He, he beaded, bowed, and missile toed. There it is. He gathered garlands, ropes, roped wreaths, and holly. Jingle bells, St. Noel's, Oh, good golly, this moose was jolly. Check, 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 check. <coughs> Tis the season for coughs. Last but not least, he hung all the stockings, each and every one with special care. And just in time, too, soon Santa would be there. Check and final check. Yes siree, getting ready for Christmas was an absolute snap, and so simple, so easy, and if he did say so himself, Moose thought, totally, utterly, completely, perfectly perfect. There's five. Five of them? Five. Holy cow. You can talk out loud if you want to. Three sons. Sweet. On that night before Christmas, Mother, little sissy, Bucky, and Junior looked all through the house. What a job Moose had done. Everything looked bountiful, festive, quite fine indeed. There was just one minor problem, if you will. Oh dear, sighed the missus as the five stared at one empty corner. Oh my, oh my, oh me, oh gee. Pop, what happened, cried Junior. You forgot the tree! Hey, Dad. Don't you? You can talk out loud. You read this at school? Did you? You kind of know what's going to happen? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Did you read it or did somebody read it to you? Um, no. Put your hand teacher, out. Your teacher did. Teacher. Sweet. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Where would they hang the tinsel? String the popcorn. Light the lights. Where would Santa leave his gifts for the kitties on Christmas Eve night? So Moose pulled on his galoshes and put up put on his hat. He would find a tree somewhere somehow. That's all there was to that. So out went the moose, braving blustery blowing winds and the cold, trudging through snowdrifts, courageous and bold. Hey, you gotta put that blanket down. People are gonna see your underwear. Well, it might be. You don't know. Moose first hooked it down to the corner. Not a tree to be had. Hey, put your blanket down. They're gonna see your underwear. 
Moose, fir Moose first hoofed it down to the corner, not a tree to be had. Then he slid it around the block. Uh-oh, things were looking bad. He went down every boulevard, street, and little road. He looked down lanes and alleys. Every tree had been sold. There wasn't a branch, not a twig, not even one lousy bowless bow hanging around. Nope, not a nothing, not a tree to be found. No tree, sighed the sad moose as he came home empty-handed that snowy eve. The kids tried to make the best of it, they said. Oh, so who needs a tree? But Moose could plainly see they were short on glee. He knew he had to do something, and that's just what he did. In the empty corner he stood and spread his arms out very wide. Then he smiled at his children, and he winked at his bride. Kids, he declared, fetch your forgotful, forgetful, pop some of that tried and true family glop. So back came the kids carrying a big, a big pot of glue, and without a word to one another, they knew just what to do. They each took a part, grabbing strands, taking hold, and then carefully, oh so carefully, they glopped, and they plopped, they pasted, and they pressed. They curled and twirled every which way a follicle could fathom, until Moose's magnificent moustache was indeed even more of a marvel to see. Moose was just a few needles shy of being an evergreen tree. They strung Moose with lights from his head to his toes and draped him with tinsel beginning right with his nose. They hung balls that were shiny and bells that twinkled, candy canes, berries, and plum sugared sprinkles. Then they all stood back. Junior plugged in his pop. Ooh, ah. Yes, Moose truly looked one, was one incredible sight. He was glorious and glowing, and boy, oh boy, was he ever bright. Can I drop the purple? Who's that? We'll come here in a minute. Is Uncle Joe watching? Uncle Joe's watching. Can you believe that? When do you get to see Uncle Joe next? Christmas. Hopefully, as long as he, as long as the government lets him know when to come home. <laughs> then Junior placed the star on top of Moose's head. He gave him a kiss and a pat, and they all headed off to bed, except Moose, of course. He stayed in the corner instead, still twinkling and blinking and waiting for Santa. Oh, so it wasn't so simple, and it wasn't so easy, and okay, okay. It wasn't so perfectly perfect. But do you know what? When you say what? What? It was pretty close. Ho, ho, ho. And that's the end. The good book of Mooseltoe. Yeah. Can I, can I Are we reading a second? Because you're about ready to fall asleep. I feel like. Can I open the box? I don't know if you can open it, can you? Do you know how to open it? Yeah, it's good. Push my phone. Get a there. Well, I've never read this one. This will be this will be up in the air. You can blink it down now. Well, no, I can see it. That's all right. You just put your blanket down though. They want to see your face, not huh. Elsa's. Little Red Gliding Hood. Story by Tara Lazar. Pictures by Troy Cummings. Definitely a scholastic book. You're welcome. Oh my goodness. How many pages is this? Who? Papa? Papa's watching. Yeah, you gotta keep it. Plank it down. You need to cover up your legs and just sit still, please. Because you're going to show the world, the entire world, everything.
Okay, just sit still for a minute. I'm trying to get comfortable. Get comfortable then. Get, throw your legs down. Do whatever you need to do. But then just sit there. Because we don't want we don't want anything crazy to happen. Oh gosh. What are you doing? I'm about not to read this book, okay? Oh, see, right like that, right there. Ooh, just sit still for a minute. Okay? Okay, now just sit still. It was winter, and the river winding through the enchanted forest was frozen solid. A girl raced down to the river's edge and laced up her skates. Then she swizzled and twizzled across the ice. She had fancy figure eights, lovely loops, and willowy waltz drunk jumps. Her spins were superb. Everyone called her. Well, I guess you're probably right. Little Red Gliding Hood. That was the preface, preface, whatever you'll call it. Are you kidding me? Alright, here we go. Little Red Skates were worn in and worn out. No longer snow white and a little too tight. She frowned at the creases and crumples. Soon she wouldn't be able to use them to skate to Grandma's. She went there every Sunday. No more visits with Grandma. Little Red couldn't imagine. She, she swizzled down the river and saw a flurry of friends gathering beneath a banner. Little Red Skate... Oh, slippery slush, I've got to win. What in the world? Oh, okay, here we go. A pair skating competition. The prize, brand new skates. That what was, is what was underneath the banner. That's it. Oh, slippery slush, I've got to win. But Little Red needed a skating partner. The dish danced with a spoon, and Hansel sp spun griddle like sugar. Boy, I'm about over this book already. Little Red had no one. She asked each of her friends, Little Boy Blue just shivered and quivered. The sweat, seven dwarfs were more interested in passing a puck around. Old MacDonald slipped and fell. E-I-E-I, -E -I, ouch. Little Red shook her head. None of these partners would do. Maybe Grandma could find, help find a partner. Little Red whisked off to Grandma's cottage, skating swiftly to avoid the big bad wolf. Over the river and through the woods to Grandma's house I go. Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! Nailed it. Hi ho! Okay. Hi ho! Little Red arrived safely. Oh, slippery slush, she said to Grandma, slumping into a tree, into a chair. <laughs> I can't find a partner for the skating competition. How about the gingerbread man? He's very sweet, <laughs> said Grandma. <laughs> but he's much too fast. I can't catch him, said Little Red. I bet Baby Bear would be just right for you, said Grandma. But Goldilocks thought so first. What? But Goldilocks thought so first. I know who, said Grandma. The three little pigs just moved into the brick house next door. You should ask one of them. So Little Red skated to the pig's door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Someone tapped Little Red on the shoulder. Excuse me, said the big bad wolf. I think that's my line. That's why I make three. Good wolf. Eek, the wolf. Little Red sprinted away. Her worn in, worn out laces began to unravel. Hey, glide back here yelled the wolf, giving chase. He swizzled and twizzled across the ice. Little Red pushed on faster, but her boots were lopsided and loose. Stop! yelled the wolf. He steered clear of fallen branches with fancy footwork and sly spins in pursuit of Little Red. Uh-oh, Little Red's skate flew off. Oh, slippery slush!
The wolf jumped in front of Little Red and caught her. Little Red shivered with fear. Oh, you're wonderful. Oops. You're wonderful. The wolf gently put Little Red down. What? 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 You're a super skater, but I was trying to warn you. Your laces are untied. Oh, Little, Be Little Red couldn't believe it. This was the big bad wolf? Happens to me all the time. My skates are older than Rip Van Winkle. Little Red stared at his worn in, worn out pair, and then she had a grand idea. The day of the competition, I apologize. <laughs> the day of the competition, Little Red arrived early. She laced up her worn in, worn out boots hugged Grandma and stepped onto the ice. Trumpets blared with a fanfare, announcing the official warm-up. But as soon as the competitors swirled and swirled, a dark figure came zooming toward them. A boy cried, WOLF! Kind of like that. That was pretty good, I thought. <laughs> the wolf frightened little Miss Muffet away. She bumped little Jack Horner into the corner. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, and Jack and Jill came tumbling after. What a mess. Skaters skidded and spilled all over. The old woman, who lived in a shoe, had so many children on the ice, she didn't know what to do. Little Red got mixed up in the mayhem. Help! she cried. The big bad wolf raced over. He lifted Little Red high. Put Little Red down, the woodcutter warned, grabbing his axe. Oh, slippery slush, said Little Red. He's my partner. The crowd was stunned. It got so quiet you could hear the ice freeze. All the king's horses and all the king's men put the competition together again. Music swelled and the pairs took to the ice. They wore flowing costumes and danced on ice like the prince and Cinderella at the ball. In fact, the royal couple were in the competition. The tortoise and the hare made a splendid pair. Jack Spratt and his wife did too. We're about done. Okay, we're about done. Then Little Red Gliding Hood and the Big Bed Wolf swizzled and twizzled across the ice. They did fancy figure eights, lovely loops, and willowy waltz jumps. Their spins were superb. No one could believe the Big Bed Wolf was actually dot 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 good. That's a performance I'll remember happily, I'll remember happily ever after, cheered Grandma. Tin, 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 from the judge's booth. The judges whispered. They nodded. They, they scrawled. They raised a row of perfect tins. Little Red and the big, not-so-bad wolf were named the winners. <gasps> That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's why I make a good wolf. Because <laughs> I ain't nothing but a winner. <laughs> Oh my, what big skates you have, said Little Red. The wolf flashed a toothy grin. All the better to glide with you, my dear. The end. Little Red needs a partner for the competition. Who will step up, said the back of the book. All right, since that took about an hour, you threw the second book in on me. We're going to leave with that. Anything you want to say to him tonight? How did you like the books? You got one thumbs up or two? Perfect. How about the reader? How did the reader do tonight? I thought you were going to do a thumbs down. Thank you. Don't need silent comments from the peanut gallery over there. Can you believe that? All right, give me a high five. Blow it up. You want to blow it up tonight for him? All right, we're out. Ashley, you got that? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Until day seven of twelve. Oh no, this one doesn't have an X. What in... Dang it. What in the world? <laughs>